According to the International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis, planet Earth has a 10-year deadline after which the effects of climate change will essentially be irreversible. That is unless, of course, humans do everything they can to drastically reduce greenhouse gas emissions and maintain carbon sinks, like forests. Fortunately, the International Agency has devised a plan that would allow us to avoid such an unfortunate future. EcoWatch, which reports this story, tells us that, quote, the study published in Nature Communications outlines a plan that could simultaneously account for carbon uptake by plants and carbon release by anthropogenic activities. The study shows that the combined energy and land use system that should deliver zero net anthropogenic emissions well before 2040 in order to assure the attainability of a 1.5 degree Celsius target by the year 2100, says Michael Obersteiner, co-author and IIASA director. If you pay attention to the news, or if you're just alive, you hear all the time from the scientific community that the planet ought to reduce emissions in order to avoid a future that looks like fallout. And while that's true, the IIASA has a model that would help us avoid such a dystopian future. The IIASA model calls for fossil fuel consumption to be reduced to less than 25% of the global energy supply by 2100, a drastic cut from the 95% being used right now. Deforestation would also need to be cut to lead to a 42% decrease in cumulative emissions. The best case scenario would require renewable energy like wind, solar, and bioenergy to increase by around 5% a year until 2022. However, there also needs to be negative emissions technologies like reforestation and revolatizing ocean ecosystems or the global temperature will still reach 2.5 degrees missing the Paris Agreement target. If you caught the tail end of that quote, it becomes quite clear that the international agency's plan is very much in line with the Paris Agreement. And while the Paris Agreement is very important, historic, and monumental in a number of ways, it's not without its faults. So, for one, it doesn't set any clear guidelines as to how countries ought to reduce their emissions nor are there any rules in place that ensures these targets are being met. So people who care about climate change, we basically have to trust that governments around the world are taking serious steps to reduce their emissions. And while there are a number of countries all over Europe, for example, that take climate change seriously, even China, which is investing $360 billion next year in green tech, which will reduce its emissions, reduce its pollution, and obviously help grow its economy. There's one country, the superpower of the world, that under its current administration is posed to do nothing about climate change. And that's the United States. So under President Trump, we should expect to see basic environmental regulations being rolled back. In fact, the head of the EPA, Scott Pruitt, is doing everything he can to dismantle the EPA. The head of the Department of Energy, oops, Rick Perry, is doing everything he can to dismantle that agency and ensure that fossil fuel companies do whatever they want and that America does nothing <laughs> to reach its Paris emissions target. So even though Trump's current administration could only be in power for four years you know that's really a what if he could win another term you know he could be even more destructive than we realized he could do even more than what i just outlined so if those things stick and if we have an America that is going in the complete opposite direction of where the rest of the world's going, 
you know, it's going to be really hard for this global emissions target to be met. Because if the superpower of the world really doesn't care about, you know, reducing emissions, it could be that other countries around the world eventually pull out of this agreement. And we really do miss this 10-year deadline to save the planet. But, you know, this is all speculation, of course. Anything could happen. Um, but it's important to at least acknowledge that potential scenario. But, you know, this is just me. This is just some things that I thought of. Um, I'm obviously very passionate about climate change, and I think the world should do more to address it. But if you have other opinions, if you think I am a little too pessimistic, please let me know and explain to me why. Uh, leave an insightful comment and educate me and maybe anyone else watching this video. And please like this video and subscribe to this channel if this is the type of content you're interested in. You know, climate change is a global issue and it's fl affecting the entire planet. And we, as an international community, ought to do everything we can to ensure that we don't, in fact, live in a future that's in any way reminiscent <laughs> of fallout. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.